What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We are here starting another plastic vlog. Lego Wachobia is right there. It's gonna be a good week, I think. A lot of things are changing. Uh, the weather right now, 70. You can see I have my sun shirt on. This is the new Magellan Pro Angler shirt. Checking him out and uh, we're gonna see if we can get on this morning. So, gotta fill up the, the boat. So we got 26, we got at least, ooh, let me get him out of there. Uh, there we go. All right, full tank of gas. Let's go find them. All right, so we're actually dropping in right now. On the little ramps right here towards uh, in government's cut right here. So we're going to start up north, head down south. I'm going to put y'all down right there for a second. Put some sun gloves on. Can you say hi, Sint? So, Good luck. Thank you. Turn the power on. Here, 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 here. All right, so this is one event that I don't think that the, all the grass on the boat is going to matter. It's going to be a fishing event. So we're going out at 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, look at that dude. sunrise. Oh my gosh. So freaking pretty. Are you kidding me? Woo! So pretty. That's awesome. Oh, we're going to get a lot of stuff out today. Grab some new glasses out. These are the new Captivates. We're gonna need them today with that big old high beam up there. These lenses are awesome. Brand new from Wiley X from this year. Hoo hoo. They can't hide. And trust me, there will be some sight fish caught. The only thing is, I'm gonna tell you guys, right now it's uh, 7.05. We start this tournament at 8 o'clock, okay? That means, I'm, I'm looking at you over there. I see them one pull up. All right, it's okay. Um, the big deal is, we start at eight. There still could potentially be a little bit of a shad spawn. I don't know if it's gonna be a main player. So we're gonna go run around right now while we're out here basically during non-tournament hours. Um, I'm gonna go run around and see what we can see. Go put our peepers on. Trying to find, I've caught some fish out in this little zone before, but I mean, I know they're probably not there yet right now. So I just figured I would make a few casts on it. Sometimes really in the morning, these fish, if they're farther and far enough along, they're really schooling pretty good. So wanted to make sure they weren't going crazy. Strike one. Well, struck out on the first place anyway. Not strike one. Same baseball. Oh, Like it's 641, 51. I can see some birds diving like crazy. Y'all see them? Birds are the deal. We might have just found us a hammer hole already. I don't know if it's Chad's spawn related, but they're there. There's the old grass out here in the middle of this place. We'll just troll real fast to see what's up. My mother load. Out in the middle of the old grass. We just gotta see how big they are. If they're, I, I've done this before one time on an eel grass edge, and it was one of the best places I've ever found a lazy Kobe. Give me a cast somewhere out there here that really gonna go down.
big thing, the question is, is are they two plus pounders? That's the biggest thing. If they're not, then it's sort of irrelevant. Stripe on his leg. Stripe. Yeah, come on. Unbelievable. Not for a second. I'm like, we found the mother of the. Might be some bass still in here. I don't know. Probably some bait in here, but. Birds laughing at you. Them, but you can't get through the thing stripe to catch name bass. Not only were they non-scorable, they were the wrong kind of bass. <laughs> That's the thing that I'm not about. This lake's low this year. It means like close to 12 something. You gotta get out here a little ways off the edge. We're gonna run down a little bit further. See what we can get into. Trying to analyze some things because the wind's gonna blow from the north the first day hard. I'm talking 15, 25 with gusts of 30. We're talking about letting us trailer. That being said, you have to have places that are gonna be protected. With a two pound minimum, it's gonna be very difficult. This lake is a lot of bass and like tons of bass in Lake Okeechobee. But overall, you're gonna have to try to get that, generate those big bites because that's really gonna be the name of the game this week. If you don't get a big bite this week, and on top of that, Right now we're 45th, 45th in the heavy hitters list. That is not good. What I mean by that is Major League Fishing has an event this year that's three quarters of a million dollars, three quarters, $750,000, qualify for that event, the first five events of the year. So we already had the yeah, you follow If you haven't haven't watched that, obviously it went pretty dang well. So if you're a new, new uh, subscriber to the channel, if you hadn't seen that, go make sure to watch those videos. Uh, but then, so I, I, was in, I was in like 44th place with a 410. A 410. Okay, that's a big, that's a good fish. And basically, you have your biggest fish from each of the the five events. Okay, the biggest fish I catch here goes towards the towards the the all the cumulative weight of making it into the heavy hitters, and the top 30 guys in the tour that have the highest weight total qualify. You gotta make that happen. So this week's really really important. Shower. 
scattered grass. This is the kind of stuff they'll spawn in, but problem is with the water dropping, stuff gets a little bit more, I don't know. I'm seeing a lot of empty beds, which, you know, ultimately, I know is... Like to see some fish on, even males on the bed is the key. Seen a blast. You see them moving around like really, really good. First fish of the day, that's a pretty good one. Actually. That's definitely horrible. For sure. Yep. That right there is a scoreable bass. Not a great big one, but if we can find a place that has good sized males, it looks like that fish has been on the bed for a little while, so I don't like that. Let me let me weigh this fish real quick because this is the big thing. We're gonna make sure. I'm pretty sure he's about a 230 or so. He's an old trusty rappler scale. 264. So a pretty good fish. That's the kind you want. If you can get you a few bites like that and then put some big ends together with that, that's what you need. Those are normally really good filler fish on like a Kachobi. Spawned female. It's a beautiful fish. Five pounder on the apple scale. Let her go. Thank you for buying me, baby. Ooh. Getting on a little something. We ain't catching many. What do we do? Pretty big. <laughs> ding! Hit the ding button on that one. Unreal. Dang, ain't that big. Another close to 500. Beautiful fish. Let's see. This is a scoreable. Gosh, we caught some dang bass. 557. Sheesh. This is badass. I've not got very many bites at all, but the ones I've got in this one area have been really good. So I can't complain on that side. And that's the thing is like Okeechobee, you're either catching a lot of pound and a halfers. I don't think it's gonna take a heck of a lot of weight to, to do well, just with the cold front and everything else. I 
just think the conditions really are setting up to be a tough event. You really got to be able to get in an area where you fucking get some good bites, get six, eight bites a day, and at the right time, that's the lobster sits there. Well, I was about to catch him. <laughs> Whoop! They were blinding when I didn't see me. I'm surprised there's not more males around. That's the thing. Is like, caught a few females, caught a few nice ones. I've not caught a whole bunch of males, and you need some. You need to have a few, two and a half. Few little 12, 13 inches up there on that stuff like this that are going to continue to push those females back up in these places. So that's my biggest thing. I was like, I just, you know, normally you catch them winding around, catch the biggest ones when it gets cold, flipping. Um, hmm. Interesting. I'm trying to fish a little bit on the outside right now. Throwing a little swim jig and the uh, the weather really is beautiful right now. Not the weather we're gonna anticipate to have in the tournament, but I wanted uh, one to run down here. I'm actually down towards Cluiston um, and just check some stuff just to make sure I'm like I'm not missing out on something. You know, I, I've, I've got a lot of history in this area, but the problem is Okeechobee's not like a, a normal lake where waypoints on the exact spots it changes every year which is really what's cool about this fishery and you know you never really go back to the same exact waypoint you go back to the same area and you have to relearn it every year there might be grass grows differently the semi grass and the bass the water levels different they spawn differently i um, mean that's what it's really about so i've uh just trying to sort of get engaged on what's going on what stage these fish are in found one good little area but it's very few bites and with a 15 to 20 mile an hour 15 to 25 mile an hour winds with gust over that man it might be tough i'd like to find a place where i can get some bites pretty quickly put a few on the boat to really calm you down but i don't i don't think this is going to be a fast paced tournament i'm just telling you off of what my my idea of what okeechobee has unless something changed i don't feel like this is going to be a fast paced event Probably gonna be a, a little bit. You're gonna have to eke them out. Checked a couple places, gotta check one more little place. I might think there's some schooling fish. And then we're gonna go flip big soft plastics on the outside line. This is a technique that catches a lot of big fish, but uh, you don't get a lot of bites. So that is a full deck of rods right there. I got frogs and flipping baits and everything else. So I'm gonna sort of move through a couple different things and see if I can't get a couple bites. Um, man, beautiful day out here on Okeechobee though. Non-scorable. That's a non-scorable bass right there. Talking to my buddy old Whitney on the phone. That's a that's a 170 right there. Chunky, chunky, chunky male. Actually, it's really good to see that because that fish right there is chunky. He's he's like just came in. Might be like a little female. Sometimes they'll mess you up sometimes. Two minute fish fan on any violation. That is definitely not. I caught another one. There's like a school of them right here. Oh snap. 
putting a little peg on. I'm gonna go flip that bandito bug around a little bit. Half ounce weight. Really trying to target these fish on this outside edge. Uh, might happen for a little bit of time, but we'll sort of have to see what happens. I, I'm still not sure how this is gonna play out. Put a little snail on this BMC. Rotate him around a few times and go flip this sucker. I gotta, I gotta get, you gotta get in fishing shape because these suckers are wearing me out, man. When you get a lot of bites, it's easy to, to do that, but I'm not fishing for a whole lot of bites right now, and I know that, but whew, it's a grind. You gotta take your time, go down through here and flip, find your bass, find your little stretch. Spawn female. There's about right there. Four pounder. That's exactly what we're looking for. Post spawner. Put that fish go right there. Bandito bug. Alright. Bit it on the fall. Doink it. I'm talking. A do doink. Oh. That's something I don't need. Oh, say it ain't so. That one shellacked it. That one felt good, man. That wasn't no itty bitty. We ain't got many bites today. The ones we've got, they have not been playing. A little tab of super glue on that bandito. Straight big. We have not caught very many littles today. <laughs> Crushed it. Jig with a bandito bug on the back of it. Whew. This might be the deal. That sucker was not coming off. We've caught 25 pounds a day, 24 anyone. That's like a a five. Should be like a seven. They're all post spawn. 526. So we've caught three over five for sure today. Three over five, a couple of one over four, another three pounder. We caught some good ones. And I washed them big. Alright, one more place before we gotta go in at 6.04. We gotta be off the water by 6.45 with 6.50. Now. Guys, got another couple bites doing this deal. I, they're the right kind and with the two pound minnow on Lake Okeechobee, this is how I definitely want to fish. I, want to be, I don't want to be going through 30 bass to try to catch a couple scoreboards. I set the hook on that jig with that bandito bug. It seems like you ain't got to worry about it being a scoreboard <laughs> at all. I don't know. I'll probably just run up, run up this second. If it was gonna be south wind, I'll, I'd, if it was gonna be a warm, like calm wind, we'd double crossbone. But it's gonna blow 25 to 30 or 20 to 30, so we'll find out. I'm gonna fish for bigs all week, so it don't matter. We might only have two days to do it, or we might make all the way to Championship Sunday, but we're versing for straight bigs.
Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Holy it's time to go go. So I'll tell y'all about my escapade yesterday. One of my batteries didn't get charged, so I about my first morning yesterday was just a complete waste of time. Like I got out there, I hit the motor, woo woo, click. I went, what's going on? What happens is when the lithium batteries don't get charged, the whole deal is not good. They charged this morning. I'm about to tear ass. Ow. Like a joke. Got to find my Alright, so day two of practice. It is like 545. And uh, man, this is sort of a real similar position that we were in the fall. And what I mean by this is that offshore bite was super sensitive to that dirty water. It ended up pulling through, but I, I didn't think it was gonna happen. Now we have wind, which is going to muddy up certain areas of this lake. So do you just totally ignore those areas of the lake and say, right, try to just go fish that stuff maybe in the tournament? Or do you try to sort of figure it out and then hope that the eelgrass continues to filter that water out and it doesn't mess them up that bad. So that is where we're at right now. And um, you know, you can get on a great, great pattern a day, but then the wind blows and jacks it all up. So I'm trying, I'm still analyzing things, thinking about how I'm going to prepare for that wind. And, and that's what it is. Fishing is all about prepping for these tournaments and prepping for this wind and prepping for the conditions that you're gonna be dealt with. And so that's what we're trying to do today. So. We're gonna see if we can't find a cue. Well, we're not taking you guys on this adventure. Well, I'll bring you for a little bit, but uh, day two, we gotta really get after it. Day one went pretty well, but we gotta, we gotta run a lot of water, try to be efficient as possible. I might even go into some canals because of that wind that's forecasted. Problem is with Lake of Okeechobee is this. If you fish too fast through an area, you can, you can basically miss the winning area or one of the best areas in the lake. If you fish too slow, you don't cover enough water. So it's sort of a, so today I think we're gonna try to run around and at least get a vibe for what's going on. The other thing you also gotta think of is there's a wind tide. So when the wind blows from the north really hard, over 15, you, the water drops at least six inches, sometimes a foot. Now think about this. If a fish is spawning in a foot of water, there'll be like no water over their head. So, I mean, up here anyway, up north. Down south, it adds more water. So, but it also dirties the water wherever it blows. So that's, I mean, that's another thing that's gonna be really interesting. So um, you gotta think about all of these variables and that's what makes this place one of my favorite places to fish, but also one of the most difficult.
pond out. They're on that. They're on the shad's pond. They're on these deals. I don't know if we'll be out here early enough, but whew, some good ones. So midday update, it's actually two o'clock. We have four more hours to figure it out and I just seen the weather and it's going to be like 20 to 30 plus with gusts of 40. So it's gonna be really, really difficult. We're making an audible. We gotta go check some canals. I think that's gonna might be a, a major player. I, I'm gonna first check a couple more places on the main lake and then we spend a couple hours. I literally might go fish blind in the tournament. I don't know because I feel like so much stuff is gonna get blown out. Oh, it's always part of the game, but man, it stinks when you have a big weather system come in in Florida because there's so much stuff that gets jacked up, but I don't know. We're going to find out. We've got to catch a couple bass, find something that's protected, and hope there's two plus pounders to be caught, some big ones at that. So we'll check back in here in a bit. All right, so we're actually getting ready to lock into one of these little canals. Um, pop. Wind is supposed to blow, so we got to get our stuff together a little bit. We actually have ran over to the east side a little bit, messed around, and it just wasn't happening. So, got to make sure the lock master knows what's going on. That's one thing I've, I've, I've done it before where you're sitting there and you're like, geez. Maybe like, uh, it probably takes, like, I don't know how long this takes, probably it's 340. We only have a couple hours practice left. So I figured I'd spend some time up in these canals and just see what's going on. So that's the plan. All right, so for those of you who've not actually locked before, it's very simple for the most part. You give your like boater registration number, your name, all that stuff, at least here anyway. Um, and this actually was a pretty quick, quick lock. See, it's starting to open up right there. You know, there's some really big dams out there. So some this is only like a six inch drop. So it's not like a, or a six inch rise. It's not too big of a, to give a deal, but sort of got to hold on to this rope right here, sort of keeps you against the wall. And then when they tell you you can go, you go. Definitely listen to that Lockmaster. Like you def I've, I've learned my lesson. I told you, I'll learn my lesson about not listening to the Lockmaster. Man, we got to catch this thing bass. Gosh dang, we got to catch some bass. Unreal. <laughs> Alright y'all, just got off the water, getting ready to grab a bite to eat with the boys. Oh, man, hold on, let me get this. It was a lot tougher on your boy than it was yesterday. Wind's gonna blow 20 to 30 tomorrow sustained, which is not necessarily the best thing. <laughs> so, we're gonna have to do some stuff. We're gonna have to make some adjustments. Um, I might fish some water that I've never even fished throughout this whole week, which is part of it. You know, that's the kind of stuff that you gotta do. These guys out here. That's just what you gotta do. And that's part of the game. So, I don't know what tomorrow's gonna bring. I'm hoping that some of the areas that I, I found are gonna still stay clean, but that north wind looks a little sketchy. Um, so I don't, I don't know how that's gonna all play out. 
we're just gonna find out. DC, you call them boys up? <laughs> 